Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today is a requested video, how to get your finances in order, how to get your financial affairs in order. And there's three ways that I have done that. That's what I'm going to chat about today. So let's get right into it. First, I am not an expert on this. I know I could even be better prepared than what I am. But if you have loved ones with you and if something were to happen to you, whether it's something that you know is going to come up, uh, because some people you know, know that maybe they have a long-term illness and they know they may pass away or it could happen just you know, without you knowing, are people prepared that if something were to happen, does your family know what to do, who to call, who to connect with? That is really important. The e more we prepare, the easier we can make it on them. So I'm not an expert, like I said, but I'm going to give a few helpful hints of things I've done. But these are some things I'm going to work on myself this year so that I'm better prepared. Number one, document everything. Have documents of everything. So that, for example, you know, you've got your bills and things like that. They know and have their, you know, hard copies of your bills, who to contact if they need to document all your banking have documents of everything that you need that's important power of attorney all of that have all of that at their fingertips and know where to get it also if they need to get into some of your accounts let's say you've got an online bank well if they don't have the password it's going to be kind of hard for them to get into that and they don't need the stress of having to deal with that so have so that they know that information have them be able to have that information at their fingertips so know where the passwords are keep them in a secure place number two another big thing and I have this all ready to go family and friends ha and business colleagues have their information and phone numbers so that if something happens they can make some calls and say hey let me call some of Dawn's family let me call some of her friends but I need to let her jobs know so if they're emailing her and wondering why she's not responding Hey, I'm so sorry, but Dawn passed away. You know, um, obviously she's not going to be able to work for you anymore. But I wanted to let you know that if you've tried to get a hold of her in the last 24 hours by an email or a message, this is why. They need to start making phone calls. That's probably the first thing they need to do is call your closest friends and call your business colleagues and let them know. That's really imperative. Number three, banking. Have your family, and, and I was going to say and friends, have your family on your banking. So, for example, if I were to pass on, I do have uh, three banks, and my information and my family's information is on there. So if something were to happen, they have access to that money. They're not going to go there and say, well, I'm sorry, your name's not on this account, and you know you can't get access to this. So they'll have access to it right away, and they won't have to worry about that. So that's something also important. We also do have a will and we have the power of attorney taken care of, but there's even more, like all this stuff I'm telling you guys, I know that I could do even more and I'm going to be working on some things. Another thing I think is important, I'm adding it to number four. If something were to happen to a spouse or a loved one, right away they're going to go, where do I get this information? They're going to be running around the house. I think it would be kind of important to have some kind of bin you know, with that information that in it, you could be titled financial affairs. Now I have a folder, but I kind of want to get something where, and I'm going to have a place to keep it kind of a little carry on where it's financial affairs and all of that information is there. And maybe once a year or so go over that with the family and say, we're having a family meeting. Here's the information and in here you're going to need, here's this all of this information is right here at your fingertips. Something happens, you go to that little, what I call little carry-on, whatever you want to keep it in. You keep it in your file cabinet, wherever you want to, and, and, they, and you can go in there. Okay, here's the banking information. Here's the bill information. Here's family and friends to connect. You have all that information at your fingertips so that you're not going frantic. These are just a few ideas. I know there's so many more, and remember, guys, I am not an expert on this topic, okay? There's so many more people out there and wonderful information on YouTube of what to do about that that can give you even more in-depth information of what to do, answer some questions you may have. These are just a few ideas. So let me know what you guys think. Some of you that have been through this, do you have any helpful hints 
or information you can give to us on how to keep get your financial affairs in order of what we can do to prepare so that our family members won't be going frantic going, what do I do, what do I do? What are some things you didn't know that you learned the hard way maybe that you want to share with us? That's all I have to say for now. Thank you for listening to this sensitive topic. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.